uh, in this module uh, we looked at the difference between a website and a web application with reference to analytics and optimization web analytics and optimization because you remember as i have spoken earlier in the prior modules that a website is kind of static is not interactive okay and it is it lacks integration also and uh, the authentic authentication is not a requirement so we'll we'll see that those things are valid there for the web analytics so what is web analytics web analytics is the collection collation measurement and analysis of the web usage web analytics is not about traffic analysis web analytics is about market research web analytics is about making uh, or increasing the effectiveness of your website or your web application making it more uh, productive for you and for your customers also uh, there are number of aspects of web analytics which we will be talking about uh, for example what the web analytics tells you web analytics tells you a lot it tells you where your customers are coming from web analytics tells you that uh, what your customers are exactly looking for i will give you certain screenshots or certain tools which actually track your clicks on the screen and show them on the screen web analytics tells you how effective your marketing campaign has been web analytics tells you that what your customers are looking for web analytics tells you that where you are losing your customers so web analytics is something which is very powerful and of course uh, there are tools in the market which you can use for performing the web analytics now this is what we used to have about 20 years ago that was a time when i launched my web application about jobs it was an online job portal which got very high standing actually the number one portal in the nation now the point i am trying to make over here is that at that time this is the type of data which was available to us for analysis you can see this is all textual data the information is there but you need to develop tools to harness the information or to extract the information out of this you need to have certain uh, tools for this purpose now of course uh, things are available here uh, right now you can use python you can use r libraries also but 20 years ago that was not the case right so there has been a quantum change in the web analytics domain because of the tools which are available today so why do we use web analytics web analytics is used to increase the effectiveness of our website web analytics is used to prevent the churn why because uh, when a person comes to my site and leaves from my site i know where he's coming from i know where he is leaving and why he is leaving that i have to infer from the traffic okay and how does the web analytics tools work uh, the tools work in a number of ways for example one way is that i insert i re uh, register my website with a web analytics company and i insert a certain piece of code in my web page and whenever people come to my website or visit my web application that code is used for tracking purposes that code is used for recording things so that is one way the other way of performing that analysis is that uh, with the permission of course of the visitor i place a small piece of text on their hard disk which is called as a cookie and using that cookie i know the frequency of the visit and who was visiting me and i can identify the visitors to my website and of course then there is uh, there are number of servers globally which are available which are which can check uh, the time it needs to load pages for a certain web page for a certain website for a certain web application and from there i can get the data also so there are number of ways of doing all those things doing all those wonderful wonderful things 
So I'll be very, very briefly talking about some of the web analytics tools, so to say, which is the Google Analytics, which is the Crazy Egg, which is Clicky and GT Metrics. So uh, Google Analytics is probably the leader in this in this domain. It provides very powerful suite of applications for the analytics purposes. And there is a market for you also if you get Google Analytics certification. So you become a certified Google Analytics expert. So that increases your employment opportunities. Uh, then of course, uh, these uh, crazy egg and clicky, they, they uh, explore the traffic, they analyze the traffic, what users are doing on your website. And they generate nice visualizations for you, which are uh, very intuitive and which I'll of course show you also on the next screen and they have a lot of information content for you which was not there 20 years ago and then is GT metric GT metric basically tells you the time the loading time for your different pages your images for certain websites and it can draw histograms for you I will uh, at the end of this module I will give you a demonstration but before that let me show you some very very interesting graphics this is what is called as a heat map. Now what it is showing over here is that where the users are looking at. They are looking at over here and they are looking at over here frequently so that generates a heat map. This area is not getting lot of attention. So maybe you need to work on it. Okay. And this of course is getting more attention. So I know where the users are clicking. I know where they are interested. And this redness over here, this redness over here, it means that there are more clicks over here than in the neighborhood. So this is a heat map. Then we have over here, which is called the confetti. Confetti again, you can see that this was a good option over here. It is generating a lot of uh, clicks over here. But this, this visualization, this was a fancy visualization. There are hardly any people looking at it. There are hardly any people clicking on it. So need to work on it need to work on it this also okay people are not interested in it people are looking maybe i have text over here but that is more relevant to them that is more relevant to them as compared to this nice graphics so need to work on them so uh, you see that these tools are available and for a certain subscription fee which is not very high uh, one can subscribe to these tools and generate this confetti graph generate the heat maps also now what I'll do is I will show you in real time using GT matrix load times for a very popular website. Now let's take a look at it. So as you can see on your screen now, so I have the main screen of GT metric and I have entered the URL of a popular website and let's test that website. Let's see how much loading time this site takes. Let's see about the images and we will also see where the servers are located and all sort of wonderful data will be there and of course it will be displayed in the graphical form and uh, that will help you analyze the web traffic and make it more productive for you so it is performing the analysis fetching the data from that website and the purpose is to help you make the most out of your web presence make the most out of your web application and your website now it has been almost completed the report all the tests have been done and now you can see over here so this is for the load times over here and this redness of course is not very desirable there are green regions also over here and i can click on them and i can get more details the explanation is also available over there and then i can know about the test server locations geographically and you see there is a lot of wonderful information which is available over here and we can do a lot of analysis also so that's about it what I wanted to discuss about and this is a summary over here also so you see that there is a lot of work and there is a lot of uh, wonderful data and analysis capability available over here